Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this lecture we will learn about linear layout and relative layout. So let's get started. So what is linear layout? As the name suggests, it arranges the view linearly. It can be horizontally or vertically but in a linear fashion. So when we say horizontally or vertically, we need an attribute to specify that. So there is an attribute for linear layout that is orientation. This orientation attribute defines in which direction the views are to be placed. It has two values, one is vertical, one is horizontal. By default the value is horizontal. If we don't specify any value, then write consider is as horizontal. But we can specify vertical if you want to. What are these vertical and horizontal linear layouts? So if we want to arrange a set of buttons in vertical manner, we'll use linear layout with orientation as vertical. And if we have certain buttons and we have to arrange them horizontally, we will set the orientation to horizontal in linear layout. Now let's take example for this. This is our activity underscore main XML file. We have created a linear layout into this. We have set the width and height to match parent for this linear layout. I'm creating button with width as ramp content, height as ramp content. Now to distinguish it, I'm specifying the text as button one. Now I will just copy and paste this button to create a new button. I will change the text to button two. Now you can notice that button 1 and button 2 are appearing horizontally and this is due to the fact that the linear layout has by default the orientation as horizontal. So we have not specified any orientation, the android is taking it as horizontal. Now let's add a third button, button 3 into this. Now you can notice that all the three buttons are now horizontally placed. Now if I want to place them vertically, I'll just add orientation and give it a value as vertical. Now you can notice that the buttons are coming up vertically. So that's a very basic linear layout example. This is the easiest layout to arrange the elements. Now let's discuss about the weight attribute in linear layout. First we will change the orientation to horizontal. Then I'll change the layout height to wrap content. I'm removing the third button as well. Now to distinguish the boundary of the linear layout, I'm specifying a background color. So now you can notice that this is our linear layout and these are the two buttons that are present in it. So now we will see how actually linear layout calculates the width of these two views. So initially linear layout sees the width property of the button and considering those values it renders the buttons. So here it is written wrap content and wrap content for both the buttons. So it is rendered like this. Now in next cycle it checks for the weight property. If any view has the layout underscore weight property then the linear layout considers it and renders it accordingly. Let's specify layout underscore weight for the first button. We can specify any value to it. I'm just writing 1 into the value. Now you can see that the button 1 is requiring all the extra space that was present in the linear layout earlier. Now let's take up a scenario. If I want my button 1 to acquire the 70% space and the second button to acquire the 30% weight then this layout underscore weight property will be useful. So let's just specify layout underscore weight for the first button as 70 and for the second one as 30. Now you can see that the 70-30 combination is appearing on the screen. One thing to note down is that uh, inside a layout, the sum of all the layout weight should be either 100 or 1. So you could have specified layout underscore weight as 0.7 and 0.3 for these two buttons. The sum should be either 1 or 100. So now let's see how the linear layout rendered it. In the first cycle it's checked for the width property and it has wrap content for both the buttons. In the next cycle it saw for the weight, layout underscore weight and it saw that 70 is defined for the button 1 and 30 is defined for the second button. So accordingly it allocated the space for both of these buttons in 70 and 30 ratio. Now let's take up a scenario of 50-50. If I want button 1 and button 2 divided equally across the screen. So I'll specify the weight as 50 and 50. But here there is a performance issue which was even present in the 70-30 ratio. Here what's happening is linear layout first check the layout underscore width which is rep content. It calculates the width. And in the next iteration, it checks for the weight. However, in this case, layout underscore width calculation is, is of no use because ultimately the width is defined by the layout weight now. 
So what we can do, we can specify layout underscore width as 0 dp. Now what will happen? Indian layout will check for the layout width property for both the buttons and when it will see 0 dp it will not calculate anything. It will go to the weight property and when it sees the 50-50 value it will just render it directly. Thus we get a saving on the performance side. Now let's summarize the linear layout. We will discuss the relative layout in the next video. Now consider this image. In the first case we took two buttons and the width was set as wrap content and there was extra space present in the linear layout. In second case the weight was assigned as 70 and 30 in the ratio of 70 to 30 and the extra space was divided among the buttons in the same ratio. In the next image we divided the buttons in 50-50 ratio and specified the width as 0 dp thus by saving on performance. So that's all about linear layout. You can read out about linear layout on our site cheesycode.com. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.